en 40 ans, il y aura 2 milliards d'Africains, en plus que la Chine. Et de, sur ces 2 milliards, 7 jeunes sur 10 dans le monde seront nés en Afrique. Si l'Afrique est aujourd'hui un continent de hope, les jeunes générations sont en train de faire cette hope une réalité. The World Economic Forum was instrumental in showing to the world how far Africa has come. From 1990 till today, we can see a lot of foreign direct investment in Africa. The Forum has been partnering with Africa for the last 25 years. It was an opportunity to look back and assess the lessons learned. People who were once disenfranchised, who were once disconnected from the mainstream, are able to connect to the mainstream and propose change. South Africa and the Southern African region is in a much more stable position than what we've been in a very, very long time. And that's the basis from which we can build. It's been good to take the opportunity to speak to people who have attended the forum since its inception. Je souhaite avoir des échanges intra-africains nettement plus importants. Une économie qui soit une, de sorte à ce qu'on puisse fabriquer des biens au Ghana, les vendre au Nigeria. We want to see an Africa that is peaceful because it affects the perception of investing in Africa. Sustainable development goals are necessary to keep the momentum and the focus effort into the right places. There is a large young global leader presence as well as a global shaper presence to really sit and engage with other people on what we would like to see in the future. As we move people from the informal economy into the formal economy, having mobile banking relationships is a critical part of that move. I see Africa being much better connected internally and having a well-developed workforce that drive development within the continent. True leadership is going to be saying that we can't leave anybody behind. This is a real opportunity to move global trade forward and to understand that globalization can bring people out of poverty. The internet could account for about 10% of Africa's GDP in the next 10 years. We provide entrepreneurship as well as financial capabilities training to get women to the next level in terms of being able to expand their businesses. The development of women is a national issue. Women are contributors to change and to development, not people that just need to be supported. I see Africa having an opportunity moving from agriculture into the next value chain of food processing. How do we continue to advance the genetics so that the crop and the farmer can adapt to whatever situation evolves in their area? This croissance will be inclusive that if we, even as Africans, we invest in order that all the resources that we produce are transformed locally in order to create value. For the first time, we're going to see a truly globally interdependent economy. We believe that the relations between Africa and the world has to change. We have to deal with one another as equals.